What is happening people and welcome to today's video. I want to share with you guys four new or at least relatively new exercises to me that I put into my programming that I absolutely love so I thought I would share the knowledge. There's an upper body, a lower body, a core, and a carry. Let's start with carry. These are called offset carries and they are absolutely brutal. You get all the benefits of a waiter's walk with all the benefits of a single arm farmer's carry in one motion and it absolutely destroys your core. First person I ever saw doing these was Tom Haviland. So I figured I'd give it a try and I feel like it makes my spine stronger. So if you do have enough room to move and the means to do this exercise, I would highly, highly recommend it. Moving on to your lower body, we have the front foot elevated split squat. Now if you watch the channel for any amount of time, you will know that I am a huge fan of the Bulgarian split squat. I have an entire video that I'll link in the description box down below just about the benefits of that, especially how it hits your butt. But if you're anything like me and you have trouble isolating your quads, you never feel them get sore, you never really feel them doing the work, then this exercise is going to be great for you. The only thing that you need to make sure that you do though is that your front foot needs to be elevated on something as simple as like a 45 pound bumper plate. And then when you actually do the movement, you wanna keep your head as well as your upper body, most your weight dropping down over top of the front of your legs. So this is your motion as opposed to pushing back. If you push back, you're not gonna get that quad working as hard as you possibly could. On top of that, you're gaining all the benefits of the unilateral leg training, you are working your balance, and you are not loading your spine with a bunch of more weight for your assistance work. So if you do wanna give these a try, just remember those two tips that I gave you, and it's an awesome, awesome exercise. Next exercise I wanna talk about is the kettlebell uppercut. You're simply taking kettlebell from your hip and extending it across your body. Now, this is very, very similar to the barbell full contact twist that you guys see me do an entire video about that I will link in the description box down below. So I'm a huge fan of the twisting movement for your obliques and just your explosiveness and athleticism, but you can do this in a much smaller area than you can with a barbell on a full landmine setup. And it's easier to manipulate the weight. It's just all around better and you feel almost like you're doing a throwing exercise. So whether you use this as a primer before a deadlift or a squat on your lower body day or simply as an oblique exercise on your upper body day, this is a great, great addition to any sort of giant set programming. And finally, we have Gorilla Rose. So, I know this isn't a new exercise for everyone, but it is a new exercise that I have not taken very seriously in the past. However, because of the rupture bicep, I'm doing lighter row variations and just trying different things. And I find that I really, really like the gorilla row, not only for the rowing aspect, but also for the core aspect, because you need to brace pretty hard just to do that. A quick tip though, for those of you who do not have a big selection of dumbbells and your dumbbells do not go heavy enough, just grab whatever dumbbell you're using, grab a smaller dumbbell, throw it right on top like it's a piggyback, and then you can just row like this. Da, da, da. Give it a try, give sex a try. You're absolutely gonna love it. All right, so that is what I do have for you guys today. I thank you guys so much for the time, for the attention. I hope some of you will find some of these useful, throw them into your programming, and hopefully you will like them. If you guys are looking for a program, I think I have like 15 or so $25 programs available on my site. Most people who do them end up loving them. You can check out the comments, everything like that. By the way, I try to respond to virtually every comment that I get now. So if you guys do leave one, I am trying to get back to you. It might take me a day, it might take me two days, but I am trying to get back to you. And I thank you guys so much for leaving the comments, for just being supportive of absolutely everything with the programs, with the consultation calls, with the coaching calls, with all of this, just been super, super great. So I will catch you guys later in the week. Until I do got something amazing in my life, keep working hard, people. Be nice to each other. See you then.